before love enticed him to move to Northern Ireland, was a former National Secretary of Labour Youth, former Vice President of the European Young Socialist, and was Parliamentary Assistant uh, to Deputy Joan Burton. Connell was Communications Director for the SDLP from 1996 to 1909, at a time that included negotiations running up to the uh, Good Friday Agreement, uh, when he acted as spokesperson for John Hume, subsequent referendum and assembly elections. He went on to serve as a special advisor in the first power sharing executive with Breed Rogers and then Minister for Agriculture and Rural Development. Since 2007, Connell has been managing director of one of Belfast's biggest public relations companies, Weber Shandwick, and has won several industry awards for his work. Another reason Connell might be familiar is through his blog, O'Connell Street, and his regular political commentary. Three months ago, Connell was sworn in as the SDLP MLA for South Belfast, replacing Carmel Hanna in the Northern Irish Assembly. The Labour Party would like to formally congratulate him on this and again welcome him here tonight. Connell. You're very welcome. Hello everyone. Uh, this feels a bit surreal, but anyway. I suppose you're the reason I'm standing here uh, tonight, because it was this party that made me want to make a difference. Uh, it was our history, our shared history, that shaped my politics as it did shaped all yours. And it was Joan and Joanna and Eamon and the rest of the old Dublin West constituency where I learnt that representation is as important as values. That good on the ground work is as important as all the progressive ideas in the world. I'd be honoured to sit on the MYC, to be part of the founding generation of the Tom Johnson Summer School, and to be part of a group of people who I now see at some of the top tables in this party. And being amongst Labour men and Labour women is special. Being amongst this particular group of Labour men and Labour women tonight is particularly special to me because this is a party and a group that has changed this state and this island. And when I left here in 96 to go north and join another Social Democratic and Labour Party, I did so knowing that the values that leave this room at the end of this conference are the same values that leave an SDLP conference when it closes. It's not like we haven't been successful friends. Our parties have changed Ireland, south of the border constitutionally, in equality terms, giving voice to the marginalised, changing the face of our nation, and north, bringing peace, bringing power sharing and opening the window for a new generation to be able to fulfil the unfulfilled pr promise of our entire nation. And that is something I'd like to talk to you a little bit about tonight. We all claim to love Ireland, but we haven't done our nation the courtesy of sitting down and trying to define what Ireland will look like in 20 years' time. But we must do it now, because the Good Friday Agreement changes everything. It changes the question about unity from being if, quite bluntly, to being when and how. And that is a question as socialists, social democrats, democratic socialists, laborists, trade unionists, feminists, whatever we decide to describe ourselves, we must be to the forefront of answering. Why? Because in the last century, for all those reasons, we chose not to. In the 21st century, friends, labor cannot wait. It cannot set aside, step aside and allow old-fashioned nationalism to shape our nation. We have the opportunity, the keys, to be able to begin a conversation right here, right now, about what our new nation would look like. About whether, for example, in the context of the debate that's just taken place, there will be northern seats in Shannon Air. About how we fulfill the promise of our constitution, our party constitution, our national constitution and how we do it in a way that is true to our progressive politics, that unites people 
above territory. It may be that the answer is a federal Ireland. And if it is, let that federal Ireland be built on the type of politics and ideas that our two great parties are built on. I don't want to spend too much time talking about the peace process, the Northern Ireland Assembly, the SDLP, the Labour Party, except to say this, that the time for the conversation about Ireland, about our Ireland, about an Ireland in which Labour will not wait, in which progressive politics will not be cast aside, in which nationalism will not be the only ism on the political agenda, has come. And at a time when we are in crisis here, and with so many questions in the region I'm so proud to represent, surely we should seize the opportunity to start the conversation. That's why we called in the SDLP for the reconvening of the Forum for Peace and Reconciliation to put Irish unity back on the agenda, not to outgreen Sinn Féin or to play footsie with Fianna Fáil, but to give our politics the chance it never got in the 20th century. It is a hugely proud moment to be able to stand in front of you all. It is a moment which I will never forget, although I hope it is not the last. And I hope you will leave this conference thinking about the fact that Connolly's dream, born on the streets of Belfast and later in the streets of Dublin, that the cause of labour is indeed the cause of our Ireland and vice versa, that that dream is yet unfulfilled. And that instead of it being a time to turn our backs on the big vision for our Ireland, it is in fact the time to open our minds to a type of Ireland none of us, none of us, even 20 years, could have dreamed was possible. Comrades, thank you for having me. Have a great conference and I'm looking forward to spending it with you.